Praise God for this glorious day today. Hey guys, it's Color Flarty, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. So today we're on Tracker Barrel Trek, the second of the waterfall levels. And apparently somebody's been dumping some monster energy drink into the waterfall because it's a little green. But uh, whatever. So this is a Tracker Barrel. Shoot, come in it, and it'll shoot you out. And it'll also follow you as you move. Look kind of useful, that. Roll into the spiny's heads, like so. This is where the tracker barrel trek gets a bit more annoying, as you have to maneuver it so you can get over the buzzers. Yep, bonus barrel there. I think we're gonna need Dixie's help with that. Oh boy, it's a star collecting game. The waterfall owners do enjoy throwing these at us. Also be careful because the tracker barrels are on an invisible track as you saw. So I couldn't go right next to the other one because the track only goes so far. Doesn't really come up as an issue unless there are multiple tracker barrels right next to each other. So here we can do a little roll jump in order to get the O. K O. Once again, you have to kill the spinies, and use the tracker barrel to get over that buzzer. So now here's something kind of interesting. Okay, that's less interesting. That's not what I wanted to do at all. That literally took us back to the beginning of the level. Sometimes you want to use the tracker barrels to actually maneuver under enemies as well. That's quite a bit harder to do. Wow! What? That's weird. Why did the tracker barrel not follow me that time? Well, I hit the checkpoint, if that makes a difference, so... Uh, did I go this way? Yes, I did. That was on the tracker barrel. Shoot! At least I'm getting some one-ups. Take that, doofus. I probably shouldn't be calling the enemies in this doofuses. It's not setting a very good example to the younger generation. And Colorful already does want to try to set a good example forever, so okay. You know what? I'm not having this. Take me back to the checkpoint. Take me back once again. Okay, here we go. Yep, another Ellie level. Ellie the Elven gets way too many levels to herself. This isn't even the last one. And yes, you can still do the absorb water fin on this level in front of the waterfall. Just hold R and push down. And here, we can use our water abilities to kill these buzzers and get this bonus barrel. Or, if you got both columns, you can just tank the hit and go in the bonus barrel. You do need to know to use Ellie, uh, Ellie's spray power in this area. Because if you don't, well, you're not going to beat this world, let's just say that. So remember, Ellie can spray waterfall water. I cannot stress that enough. You need to hold R while holding down right in front of the waterfall for that to happen. Remember that. Again, just can't stress that enough. Because, it, uh, because I didn't know that, I got stuck in this game for like three years. Just because I didn't know that. And there was nothing to tell me that that's what you were supposed to do. I literally had to look it up. Take that. I guess there's the R that's spelled in the, like, bananas, but I mean, that can mean anything. And just pushing R doesn't work. You have to use the down button as well. And here we don't have any water left, so we're just going to have to take the hit. 
and get ourselves the bear coin. We need a lot of those in order to uh, get Cranky's great-great-grandfather's mirror. Okay, here is one level where the steel keg does not grow back, because you get it as a reward for beating, uh, for taking Ellie there. So if memory serves, we just throw it up. How to do that? Yep, there we go. This part's really tricky. Okay, wow, the checkpoint barrel is like at the very beginning of the level on this one. Like, how do they drop the ball there? Take that. And also, how do you miss the N on this level? Like, can you? Okay, that was weird. Hitboxes! The best part is, if you don't use the steel keg to kill the coin, you can use it to kill the first bee. I'm sorry, I keep calling them bees. They're buzzers. They're mechanical bees. Do 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 do, blue. At least we got 100%. Is there another special cave here? I want to say there is. Okay, I could have sworn that there was a secret cave here. Guess not. Oh well, time for the next underwater level, and this is one of the most annoying levels in the game. Fish Food Frenzy. So you know Snapjaw? Yeah, on this level he follows you. He's much happier, as you can see. Basically, he will swim always behind you, and he will gradually get hungrier and hungrier. If he turns completely red, he will eat you. What you want him to do is eat the enemies. So if you feed him clownfish like this, he gets less hungry. Don't let him eat the lurchins, though, because if you do, that'll make him more hungry. And turning around will make him turn around behind you as well. So, remember that. That would be helpful to know on this level. So, for example, there's the lurchin there. You just want to duck under him. Now there's going to be a lurchin on the other side, I believe. In which case, we can just... Oh, never mind. So what we're going to do here, turn him around, eat that fish. And now we're just going to rush by this lurchin. As you saw, he just ate the lurchin and got instantly a lot more hungry. He can still eat the lurchins, which is nice. It's just that'll make sure he'll eat you much faster. So that's a pretty cool concept for a level. Like, very well done on the designers for coming up with that, but it's just one of those levels that's not very fun. In fact, it can get extremely frustrating at times. <laughs> oh well. Okay, he literally just went extremely far out of his way just to eat that lurchin. I am not happy with that. Oh no. Oh, he ate another one. Please eat that clownfish, thank you. Eat that clownfish too. Merchants. Yeah, so what we do is turn around here, just so he moves behind us and doesn't eat that lurchin. Turning around can also help him eat fish that are coming right at you. That was it? Okay. Oh boy, he is about to start eating us. Yep. <laughs> also notice that when he ate Kitty Calm, he actually got less hungry. So if you lose a Calm to him, it's actually not the end of the world if you have another Calm. 
because he will get less hungry. Okay, cool. I don't care about the end that much to... Basically, if you want that end, you're going to lose a column, basically, is how it works. Alright, now we're going to turn around, go beneath this urchin, get this bear coin. The usual, make sure he goes behind us again, so he doesn't eat that urchin. Mm. Well, there are urchins everywhere! Nice going. <laughs> I will call you Squishy. Again, don't care enough about the G to go get it, especially since they didn't get the N. Let me know if there's a bonus barrel around. Okay. Double urchins, that's no fun. Why do I get the feeling I missed that bonus, uh, the second bonus barrel? I want to say it's around here somewhere. Like, I want to say in one of these narrow virgin passageways at the end is another, the second bonus barrel. Could be wrong, but I want to say that's where it is. Oh, great, you had to eat the virgin too. Eat some clownfish, they're tastier. You were supposed to eat that for me. Before I died. Still, you can't argue with that green coral. No, that was bad. Don't be so sad. Look, fish everywhere. It's Fish Friday. I don't celebrate Fish Friday, because I do not like fish. I wish I liked fish. I wish I liked seafood. I like the sound of it. I like... I see the appeal. I just don't like it. I am a big fan of steak, though. Like, you show me a restaurant with some good steak, and man, I will go to town. I cannot believe you didn't eat that lurchin back there. Four back there. So here's something to think about. Is this fish following us just because it's hungry and it's like, well, that'll be nice uh, food later on. Or is it like, does it actually like us and hates having to eat us when it gets driven to the brink of starvation? You decide. Oh, yep. Yeah, I knew it. We're not going to actually make it there. I knew it was down one of those virgin passageways. This is seriously like one of the most annoying levels in the game, though, just because of the stupid fish that follows you. Which I know is the whole gimmick of the level, but seriously. What's the deal with that guy not eating that fish until it di uh, kills us? I think Mr. Snapjaw in training is a bit of a jerk. Rule number one, Mr. Fish. Already knows best. So don't eat spinies and only eat clownfish. And never eat me. That is seriously never a good idea. How many fish have you heard of that have eaten monkeys before? Zero, because monkeys are terrible for your digestive tract. I seriously want to find the sound effect of the Super NES Kitty Kong crying and play it, because it's so weird.
It does not sound like a little kid crying. All right, you will eat that freaking... That fish is glitchy. Normally, he just instantly homes in on the fish and eats it. That one is like the one exception in the game. We did it again. Thank goodness we're right next to another DK Buddy Barrel. Also, this level finished with both cones. Because I believe once we go to the cavern at the end, if we want the coin... Are you kidding me? The stupid clownfish! And I'm noticing it's always Kitty Kong who dies. I don't mind Dixie's crying, but Kitty Kong's crying is so loud. Yeah, see, he ate it that time in good time. Blast you, Diddy Kong! Not Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong would never do this dumb stuff. Actually, well, Diddy Kong did cartwheel into the lava immediately after exiting the halfway point, point barrel, so he's not really one to brag. to your heart's content. Don't you dare let me get hit, though. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to let him eat this lurchin. <laughs> he was literally, like, a second away from killing us. So here's an interesting one. Kill all the enemies, and we had actually brings the fish with us. So technically, the fish has to kill all the enemies. Feeding Frenzy! You know, when I had pet fish, we fed them flakes, not other fish. Goodbye, you stupid fish, I hope you die! Was that too extreme? Yay, don't follow us! He's like, oh, the sign says I can't follow, okay. Oh, it actually gives you a DK Buddy Barrel at the end. That's nice of them. Very sporting of them. Goodbye. Alright. Time for the boss. This is the boss. Uh, Squirt Showdown. Sh Squirt. Squirts? Showdown. No. Squirts Showdown. This is the level where if you don't know about Ellie's waterfall sucking mechanics. You will never beat this boss, and you will just be stuck here for eternity. So I have no idea what Squirt is, to be perfectly honest. One interesting thing about Squirt is that he cannot kill you, or he cannot actually damage you. So what you do is wait for his eyes to come above the waterfall, and then squirt them with the water. So now he shoots a slower jet of water. Yeah, he literally cannot damage us. The only way we can lose to him is if he pushes us off a cliff with his water attack. Which, granted, the water pushes a decent amount, so... So you do need to watch out for it. But it's not too bad. Okay, that lasted... <laughs> <laughs> Why is it I only ever have to cough during my recordings? Whatever. What I was trying to say is that my, that attack lasted far longer than it should have. Yeah, so this guy, if you don't know how to suck in water, you're literally just going to be staying here for eternity. However, once you know how to beat him, he's actually a pretty easy boss. And I still have no idea to this day what Squirt even is. It looks like he's like a crab head that's stoned behind a waterfall. 
But even so, that's weird. Alright, so this attack is a bit harder to dodge than I remember. Because we're actually going to have to jump across the bottom. Oh, boo. Whoa, hi! Oh, let me do that! No! Well, that move's just not very fair. It's a little fair, but not very fair. Whoa! Hi there! And I love how all of the boss music in this is super epic. Well, Squirt is the boss that's given me the most trouble thus far. Whoosh! Alright, you weird lobster fan. Kind of weird that the water boss is weak to water. No! Stupid Ellie. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. No, Ellie will shoot it out for you. It's hard to tell which streams of water are gonna shoot the farmer. Ah! Okay, I'm guessing it's the slow ones that shoot you farther. Friendly neighborhood elephant trying to take a drink, but I don't want to go in the drink. So, Ellie, don't screw with me, Ellie. Squirt for a boss that can't even damage me. You are a huge pain in the butt. All right. So the fast jet of water isn't too big of a problem. I don't know how I survived that, but alright, I will take it. Now, please die. No, nope. we still have to go for another round of that. No, hit him. Hit him, Ellie! What was that, Ellie? She was shooting everywhere but his eye. You're embarrassing me. You're an embarrassment to the matriarch. Keep this up, you'll have to go to the same circus that Dumbo's part of. I would much rather be Dumbo in this, because at least he can fly. Okay, the weird thing is, I remember once you figure it out, you could suck up water with Ellie, that, like, this boss was a cinch, but no. He's being very annoying today. I mean, this is a really unique idea for a boss. Like, seriously, who could possibly come up with this idea? But, I mean, it's not a very fun boss. Die, Squirt! Also, Ellie just materializes. And for that, we get a stick. Yay! What on earth was that, Collins? I don't think I really want to know. Still, it's another step closer to rescuing Diddy.
Squirt is easily one of the weirdest bosses in the game. Alright, I believe there's another secret cave we can go to here. Like, once you beat Squirt, I think you unlock another secret cave. Go for here, maybe? Maybe not. No, that just takes us back to Blue's Beach Hut. Whatever. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Donkey Kong Country 3. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We might go back to the main area, do another funky challenge, get something from the general store, and we'll start the next world. Mechanos, or Mechanos, however you want to pronounce it. Have a great day, and God bless.